Haile Selassie, what you may not know it, was the world's most decorated human being. He was also one of the most dapper and well-dressed men. He cared about the cut of his suit, his height, his look, his stature. He had to represent not only himself and his family, but his people and his nation, and he cared a great deal about that. Haile Selassie, in some of the photos of him, frequently seen from 1955, wearing eight specific medals on his breast. Uh, the first of those is the highest medal of bravery of Royal Ethiopia. It's the or or Medal of St. George and the Order of St. George. Uh, it's not technically an order, but it's sometimes referred to as that. And that's the highest medal of bravery of Ethiopia. Um, when Wingate passed away, uh, who helped free uh, Ethiopia from the Italian occupation in 1941, Wingate was awarded one of these with three of the palm leaves on the roof. So it's a high and rare medal. Uh, and interestingly enough, for those interested in minute details such as myself, it comes in a large ring version or a small ring version. This is the large ring which is uh, more common to find in this one. On the back, another symbol of the Trinity. The second medal out of the eight that he normally wore was this medal. It's the Medal of War of Haile Selassie, also known as the Military Merit Medal of Haile Selassie. And it shows Haile Selassie on the front and uh, on the back a Trinity sign and two scepters as uh, he was presented with a scepter at the uh, coronation. Uh, a couple more medals here. This is the Eritrea Reunion Medal. Uh, first class, it came in three classes. The website, uh, the Crown Council said it came in two classes. That's just one of several little mistakes they have. Um, but one of Haile Selassie's great diplomatic uh, victories was getting Eritrea to agree again to be part of Ethiopia. Uh, it didn't stay that way forever, uh, but some good things don't. Uh, maybe it'll come to pass again. Uh, on the back of this medal, it's a beautiful back showing Mother Ethiopia hugging her daughter Eritrea and welcoming her back into the family. And uh, Haile Selassie was well known for that sort of forgiveness. When the Italians invaded in 1935 and got, finally got kicked out in 1941, Selassie went on the radio immediately telling his people, forgive these people, they didn't know what they're doing. And the ones that want to stay here and, and be peaceful or welcome here, the ones that want to go home, let them go home freely. Another important medal of Ethiopia, uh, one that you see in uh, pretty much every picture of Haile Selassie wears is the Red Ribbon Medal. And this is the medal for fighting against the Italians uh, from 1935 through 1941. And occasionally you'll find them with bars on them, and like this one. And these bars actually have fine writing on them, and the fine writing on them has an Amharic year on it. So it'll say 1926 for 1928 for 1936, and so on and so forth, up and down the line. Uh, this was for fighting against the Italians. There's a blue ribbon medal for going into exile while the Italians were occupying Ethiopia. Uh, some Ethiopians could not stay there had to go into exile and they got one of these blue ribbon medals. The planchet looks a little different. It has a trinity symbol on the front uh, where this one has cross swords. And uh, then there's also, I don't have one with me, a white ribbon medal. That's for the underground patriots. And the underground patriots were the Ethiopians who stayed at home and fought against the Italians throughout the five-year occupation. And it's a great and rare medal. Uh, that no collection is complete without it. Uh, just don't happen to have one here tonight. And the last one of this top row is a teacher's medal. 
Haile Selassie cared as much or more than anyone else about education in Ethiopia. So he actually found a way of honoring teachers. And uh, like the other medals, it's taught by a crown, and the crown is taught by a cross. Uh, on the medal, you have a crown, you have the open Bible, you have the sun rising, representing new education and hope. On the back, you have two symbols of the Trinity. Uh, and Ethiopians tend to use an, uh, syllables instead of initials. So instead of HS1 for Haile Selassie I, it says Hasika. At least that's my overstanding. And uh, at the bottom, in Giz, the religious language of Ethiopia, it gives the most important lesson to the teacher. When you won this first class, and again, the website says it only exists in silver. When you win this first class medal of Ethiopia, your own medal tells you, in Giz, go and teach. So it means you're qualified, yes, and you are to be commended, but your job's not done. It's just started, and you're well qualified to go back to work. And I think it's a, a wise man that would design and approve medals and wear them himself like this. Haile Selassie was a teacher and one that I think we can all learn a lot from. Are there any questions?